pattern. I've tied a couple times. The rest of these I just kind of came up with. Yep. This is a generic ostrich yeah, caribou so to so go on. Yeah. So it's good guys. It's good looking. Fishing for uh, four years. Oh, cool. I've been tying for like six years. Uh -huh. It's my favorite type of fishing. It's mainly what I do. Um, yep. And you got the, one of those. Uh, what are those shanks you're using? Oh, these are the OPS two. Oh, they are. Yeah, I was just talking to. Um, I have this one cut though. Yeah. I uh, can't remember his name, James, over there on the OPST booth. I was uh, chatting with him. I've been trying to get somebody on to talk about their story, but uh, he might come on here soon. Yeah. yeah. They have some good stuff. They're coming out with rods this year, yeah, which, yeah. Is, which should be, yeah, should be good, I guess. So are you tying one of these guys, or what do you... I don't really have a game plan okay. here. I'm just going to kind of free ball. So. Sounds great. That's the best. That's what I usually do. I don't really, I don't like repeating flies so, too much. Yep. Yeah, and if you've heard, uh, yeah, you've heard the show. You think some of the questions they always come back is on flies. It's always like, you know what? It doesn't really matter. Just yeah. make something up and fish it. Get in front of fish. Yeah. You know, all you really need is a couple turns of marabou to catch a steelhead. So, so you might as well make your variations yep. whatever you want. Exactly. Are you tying here another session? Or? I am. I have a double session, oh, cool. so I'll be tying till early afternoon. Sweet. So it's just some fluorescent red and gorgo. Okay. It's really great stuff. Uh -huh. Spiky, you know. Great replacement for seal. Oh, yeah. Synthetic dubbing is good, but. Sometimes I really love the sheen that Angorgo yeah. gives, and its spikiness is great too. Do you have the. Um, so it's just Angora goat? Is that what the. Yeah. That's what that is good. Yeah, it was the last of the package. Oh, cool. So. There you go. Yeah. yeah. It's just some small copper wire. Okay. I'm going to end up doing a reverse palmer here. All right. That. Sometimes I use oval tinsel if I want to make it okay. a little fancier. Yep, yep. Uh, here's some Spirit River Black and Gorgo. Okay. Cool. I don't know if the camera can see that. Yeah, if you just well. put it right in front of the. If you just do it, okay. like, if you just do it like this, it'll see it. Perfectly. All right. Should I hold it for a sec for it to focus or anything? Uh, no, no, it'll automatically focus right. instantly. I'm going to make a pretty thin body here. I want this to sink nicely. Mm -hmm. This isn't going to be a weighted fly, so... Yep. Well, besides the weight of the shank and the oh, hook, so... Uh, not really much of a taper there. Yep. Know, if you want to make it a little more tapered, a little more cigar-shaped, you put a little more dubbing, you know, however you want it. Mm -hmm. Fish doesn't care. Yep. Um, Oh, there you go. Whiting, grizzly. Yep, perfect. Red. It's the cheap bugger pack. Gonna select something webby, but with not too much length. Mm -hmm. So we're looking at oh, okay. that looks a little long. Ah, that's perfect. And these whiting hackles are so high quality that even the ones that aren't really webby are still really, um, they're very limp and they're very, okay. they move a lot. What was your name? George Marshall. George Marshall, right. 
Is that, can I find you, uh, send you an email if I, I get this out there? Yeah, or, yeah. Or, um, or, or, I'm not sure if you look at the, uh, most of my stuff isn't, uh, I got a little bit of YouTube, but you can check back there eventually yeah. to see it. Yeah, George uh, <laughs> Doc Marshall. Two L's. Two L's. Um, seven seven. Oh, seven seven. At Yahoo.com. Yahoo. Uh, George Marshall. Yep. Yeah. 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 Just Marshall. Okay. And on Instagram, I'm PNW at Natural Miss Flies. Oh, well, what is it? Um, PNW. <laughs> Pacific Northwest and Azure Miss Flies. Oh, I think I've, yeah. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah, I think I've seen your, yeah, I think I've seen your. That's, that's cool. Thing. That's one of the cool things about the uh, the social stuff is that yeah. you kind of do the social thing and all of a sudden, like, oh, yeah, I actually have uh, been talking to you. So I'm just going to wrap this this wire up, even turns. Um, I'm going to unwrap this to show you how I kind of get it to not trap me in the fibers. You kind of just yeah. wiggle it around and it'll and the fibers will yeah. kind of move out of its Perfect. way and you don't really even need to pick anything out yeah. with a hackle this spiky. And you don't worry about doing a uh, counter wrap or anything as far as on the, um, oh you wrap the material, you wrap the over. It is, is it, it is. it's a reverse Palmer, it's oh, really, gotcha. really strong gotcha. because it is a counter wrap oh, yeah, you going all the way gotcha. through. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Avoid using your good scissors for wire. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what was the uh, PNW? What was your Instagram? Pacific Northwest dot anadromous dot flies. I think it's dots. Okay. As of right now, it's resembling a fish taco, but oh, yeah. I'm going to put a dubbing right. loop in there because I like a little more crop for the ostrich uh -huh. or marabou, whatever I'm going to yep. end up putting on there. And, um, since I already have a little bit of a ball here from this body, I'm just going to go straight into a um, Arctic Fox hackle. I'm not going to worry about making another dubbing ball to prop that up. Okay. Um, some black. Well, it's Marble Fox, not Arctic Fox, but it's virtually the same in terms of how it moves. Marble Fox is a little bit longer. Fine. I'm gonna take a hunk, not too big, just about, you know, I'm thinking that's looking pretty good. Mm -hmm. Space here. Yeah. How's that Arctic Fox, or is it sit in the water pretty, uh, pretty nice? Or? So oh, yeah. it, um, it's not the most croppiest of materials, yeah. but um, you know it does have some body to it. Yeah, it's, all, it's got body, but it's, yeah, it's definitely nice and fluffy. Yeah. And um, the ratio of how much fur you leave on the uh, side of your dubbing loop mm -hmm. um, that isn't towards the trail of your fly um, can also affect how much prop there is you'll see when I... Okay. I'm just going to lay in a little bit of this, um, this is some Myco Frodin product. Uh, cool. Um, <laughs> Salar Synthetics, it's a lot of really, really nice stuff. Mm -hmm. yeah. And what, who, who is this, where is this from? This is, oh, so yeah. this is a... I don't know if it's Denmark or it's oh, okay. some northern European gotcha. country. Um, yeah, totally. And uh, yeah, Michael Froden is like, he's a master Atlantic salmon angler. Oh, okay. Cool. And he ties, you know, modern Atlantic salmon flies uh -huh. like tubes and stuff. Oh, yeah. No, Froden tube is a tube Froden system. Tube. Yep, yep. Uh, yeah. 
I'm going to fold that over. Just kind of rub it. That part's kind of easy to miss, but... Mm -hmm. I'm just going to pick it up. See, it's all pretty straight. Um, stacking your fur and stacking your product, your uh, material that you put in your fur is really important. Mm -hmm. See, it's pretty flush. Yep. I'm just going to slip this into the loop. Just open it up with these fingers. Just keep control of this with my left hand. I'm just going to pop this in there. And I don't like to wax my loops. I think it um, doesn't really add anything. It just makes it gummier. When you're picking out fibers, they'll end up being coated in the wax. And it's, it's an excuse for not making a good dubbing loop in the first place, really. I'm just gonna spread this out a little bit. Keep it nice and even. You don't want one clump of fur sticking off. It'll affect how your fly rides. Mm -hmm. And, uh, I'm going to shorten this a little bit, because I do want, you know, I don't want it to trail too far back, I don't want it to be super bulky, right. have just too much material, I want this fly to sink and move, and I'm going to cut this, uh, not super flush, but a little bit further off, because it'll, it'll build up a little bit more of a, a body, a ball to it, and prop up my hackles, but to keep it nice and clean, the last little bit, I'm going to cut flush. <laughs> and if fibers are getting trapped, don't worry about it, we'll fix everything the dubbing brush. You don't want to overspin your loop, that can cause your thread to break. Um, I'm using 10 knot Vivas, but I doubled up on the dubbing loop, so I actually have two threads okay. spinning together that are both doubled over, so I have four threads mm -hmm. twisting into that, it really pulls that fur. Uh, just find my little brush. And you see it, there's more material, there's more loose ends sticking up at the top than there is at the bottom. You'll see even better when I fold it. Right. See like the shadow. There's cut ends, those will prop up. I'm just going to wind this and just stroking it back as I wind. I'm trying to keep those turns as close together as possible because it'll make it compacted. It'll also give me room up here. As far as color, I've just yeah. been dealing with a lot of clear water and uh, red and black. You can never go wrong mm -hmm. in a situation like that. That's your go-to clear water? Yeah. Yeah, red and black, or just black. Mm -hmm. uh, super sunny day, maybe just red. Or yeah. Claret, if it's really clear. Uh -huh. You can also never go wrong with purple. Yeah. That's sweet. It looks this good. purple is both bright and dark yep. on the color spectrum, so you know it'll hold its color in dark water and low visibility, but it'll also pop in the sun. That's sweet. Now, there's a good amount of flash in there, and since this is a clear water fly, I'm not going to need to add any more flash yep. to this. So, I'm just going to get into half life. Go with uh, ostrich. Yeah, put a little ostrich on here. Now, this tip actually looks really good to me. Uh -huh. and everyone thinks you gotta gotta put ostrich in a dubbing loop. Yep. You gotta put in a composite loop. You gotta you know spin it, whatever. Right. If you have a nice tip, wrap yeah. it. I mean that's what. They, used, they originally did like the OPSD guys is that have you know those, those short kind of um, those shorter ostrich fibers and they uh -huh. just wrap them straight on and they would in the the stiffness in the beginning of the fiber will keep it pop so uh -huh. it'll really right, give right, a big exactly. profile. And, um, 
gonna, if we don't want too much of these shorts, more bulk we don't need. Um, so, and I like to tie these in tip first, just because I tie everything in tip first, mm -hmm. usually. Unless, of course, you're reverse palmering, but you know, that's... And this fly is going to have a really big profile in the vise. Since we don't have a tip, I'm going to use hackle pliers. I don't have anything to hold on, really, because I want to wrap all the way up to this. I want to get as much of that as possible. Stroke these back like you would any other fiber. They're pretty stiff, so just take your time. Mm -hmm. Bear with it. Keep pulling those fibers back. Get nice, touching wraps. I'm gonna come up to where my Mm -hmm. to where it's just about to rip the hackle out of the hackle pliers. Yep. And I'm gonna cinch down. Just pull it straight off, because that'll tighten it too, rather than releasing the tension of your sure. hackle pliers and removing it. Just pull it off, nice. pull it tight. And you see I got I got every last yep. bit of that hackle. Because yep. the last few fibers that you didn't get, just push them back, yep. maybe spread them out a bit. We got room for a nice little head there. Mm -hmm. And that fly, it doesn't need any, any more wow. yeah. fiber, really. Just, just gonna put a little, uh, little hackle on here. It, this is pretty much a fish taco. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Does the original fish taco have a, a ball? It doesn't have a ball up front, though. No. Yeah, it doesn't have it fur. It just has the hackle. It's yeah. like a hobo spay. Yeah. Yeah. Got some guinea here yep. now. With guinea, um, usually um, you want to strip one side of it. If you find yourself with a short feather, um, you don't then don't strip as much because the closer to the tip you get, the less the less curvature the hackle will have. So um, you see up here, there's like a bunch of curvature. It, you know, it yep. curves a lot, but towards the tip, it's, it's just pretty pretty straight. You know. And uh, this is a big long one, so I'm not worried about that. I'm just going to strip the whole thing. Tie that in. Like so. material for up front. Just, what else would you use besides besides that for a final hack? Uh, maybe uh, that uh, red and black barred grizzly whiting hackle that I used. Oh, yeah. You'd use a uh, yep. get a little closer, get a little webbier, mm -hmm. get into more of that stuff cool. in there. Yep. That would be great. Yep. Um, red schlappen would be great. Yep. Um, just a red saddle hackle. Yeah. You don't even have to put anything on there. Yep. And do be careful with guinea because it is one of the more brittle mm -hmm. fibers. Just approach it with a delicate hand. Mm -hmm. Nice little really? head. Yeah. Uh, if only I could find my whip finish. You know what? I am a fan of just a little tiny bit of copper. Mm -hmm. One yep. strand on each side. Yeah, copper. I was. Uh, oh, Pete Humphreys was on. I can't remember what episode. Episode seven, and he uh, his one fly was the. Uh, oh, it was a it was a traditional, more of a European pattern, but it's got a ton of copper. Just a, just a, you know, it's a total. Yeah. You know, it's the. Um, 
Well, oh, it's Temple Dog style. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And he does a video online of it, and it's, uh, God, it's a beautiful fly. But yeah, the copper is one of the big materials. And I haven't, you don't see copper, I mean, you see it in ribs and stuff, but you don't see it that much in a lot of flies, do you? Like copper, like that sort of flash boo? I mean, what other flies would have? Lady Gaga has oh, some yeah. copper flash in it. Um, um, Scott Howe's prom dress. Oh, there's, there's a does. copper yeah, prom yeah, dress. There's a copper and blue yeah. prom dress. Yeah. Um, yeah, the copper is great, yeah, man. Man. really great color. Great for dirty water too. That's why I just have a tiny bit. That's sweet, man. Nice work.